Stripes. Welcome to the City Council meeting for March 28, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome one special guest here this evening. We have uh, okay. Boy Scout Joseph Murphy from Troop 17. He had to work on his communications badge. All right. Thank you for being here. So let's communicate well, counselors. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a first. Item number one. The approval of the City Council minutes right. of March 14, 2016. Question is on accepting the minutes. All those in favor? All those opposed? Minutes are accepted. The appointment of Wayne A. Lake, 56 Short Street, Brockton as a constable in the City of Brockton, for a term of three years. Refer to finance. Petitioner Pierre McClan for a license to solicit canvas on behalf of the Solar City, a clean energy provider. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Uh, Mr. McClan, here this evening? Mr. President, uh, Council might Stavisky. we have, have that heard later on? He was here at the last meeting. It was very important to him and his outfit, so. Uh, I will uh, keep the, the hearing open and we'll move it to the end of the meeting. Thank you very much. Item number four. Report of the Audience Committee for its meeting on March 15th, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. The Finance Committee for its meeting on March 21st, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> Communication from the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds submitting the Community Preservation Act surcharge funds report <coughs> by community for 2013. 2014 and 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the city auditor certifying that the balance of the stabilization fund as of March 3rd, 2016 is $3,383,106.58. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of information technology requesting approval of appropriation of $45,000 for the expanded services to the city hall phone system. The cost of this upgrade would include a customer service audio recording system, labor and miscellaneous wiring. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO <clears throat> according to section five, chapter 324 of the acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation of $45,000 from the stabilization fund to information technology department. Notwithstanding this certification, it is important to note that $3.338 million balance in the fund after this appropriation, as well as its present balance, is not at the level which the city needs. A more prudent level would be several million dollars higher. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Treasurer Collector requesting that the city accepts Mass General Laws, Chapter 60, Section 15B, Tax Title, Collection Revolving Fund. This fund could be capped at $100,000. At the end of each fiscal year, any excess balance be transferred into the general fund. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Chief of Police Department <coughs> requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Physical 16, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Community Safety Initiative Grant in the amount of $425,692. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. <coughs> Accepted and placed on file. Excuse me. Communication from the Emergency Management Director requests the acceptance of the grant in the amount of $2,200 from fiscal 15, 16, Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness Grant to BEMA HMEP Grant Fund to purchase office equipment and supplies to assist with emergency planning. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. <laughs> Excuse me. Communication from the uh, mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the <laughs> CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of council on aging requests an acceptance of $142,947 a watt from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs. The funds will be dispersed for salaries, energy, department, equipment, repair, printing, office supplies, registration, memberships, and subscriptions. Accepted and placed on file. <laughs> Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Supervisor Animal Control Department. Requesting a total transfer of $15,100 from full-time salaries to animal control overtime, $10,000, and animal control department equipment, $5,100, in order to provide after-hour emergency calls, employees utilizing VAX vacation, personal and compensatory time, while still maintaining adequate staffing levels. Recently settled union contract, upcoming state mandated training for all animal control officers, and to purchase seven refurbished Motorola HT1250 portable radios. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the treasurer collector requesting a transfer of $10,000. 3,000 from Treasurer of, Treasurer of Services, Security, Fire Control, and $7,000 from Treasurer of Goods and Supplies, Registry of Deeds to Treasurer's Personnel Services Overtime. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Assistant City Auditor certifying there is a $505,753.33 of available funds in the vacant and abandoned buildings revolving fund. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the Inspector of Buildings requesting that all but $50,000 of the vacant abandoned registry account be transferred to the demolition revolving account to cover expected expenses in the eminent domain, uh, the eminent dem demolition of 121 Main Street and five other identified dangerous buildings. Statutory requirements dictate the need for immediate remedies for these buildings, and these funds are necessary to fulfill these remedies. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the uh, mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2015 U.S. Department of Justice Bureau uh, Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance Grant in the amount of $118,246. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2016 Mass Department of Public Health Max Lawn grant in the amount of $45,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have the appointment of Paul E. Nevins as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years and council March 14, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The appointment is confirmed. Appropriation of $350,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 2016 Municipal Police Servicing Staffing Grant to City of Brockton Police Department Municipal Police Services Staff Granting Fund and Council March 14, 2016. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2 administration is hereby amended by inserting the following new division in Article 6, Boards, Commissions, etc., Division 9, Brockton Commission on Women's Issues. Refer to ordinance. Excuse me. An ordinance amended Chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 11, Licenses, Permits, and Business Regulations, Article 14, Hours of Operation of Business, is hereby amended. Refer to uh, ordinance. 
Ordinance amending chapter 27, article two zones and zoning map and article 16, downtown Brockton smart growth overlay district of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows, article two zones and zoning map. Refer, refer to ordinance <coughs> and planning. <coughs> An ordinance amending chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton. Be it ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 zoning is hereby amended by adding the following article 17. Let's strike that 18, wireless communications regulations. Refer to ordinance and planning. An ordinance amending chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 zoning, section 27-4 designation of zones is hereby amended. Refer to ordinance and planning. Thank you. Order <clears throat> the authority for the mayor to lease certain land to the Brockton 21st Century Corporation for economic development purposes, included but not limited to constructions of a baseball stadium, conference center, facility, upon such terms of conditions as the mayor shall determine to be in the best interest <coughs> of the city, as authorized by order of the city council dated November 13, 2001. B and is hereby rescinded, accepting that the existing lease agreement between the city and the Brockton 21st Century Corporation shall remain effective for the re any remaining term. Refer to finance. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton adopts a downtown action strategy as a principal policy roadmap for revitalizing downtown. Refer to finance. Order that the City Council of the City of Brockton find that there is a clear need for an urban renewal plan in order to achieve the approved policy objectives in downtown Brockton, that the City Council approves the boundaries of the downtown urban revitalization plan as depicted in map 1A, boundaries and topography. Refer to finance. Ordered that the city of Brockton has been designated as a gateway community by the Commonwealth of Mass and that the Commonwealth has implemented the Housing Development Center Program to encourage the development of market rate housing and gateway communities through tax credits to qualified <coughs> development projects. Re <coughs> refer to finance. Order the city <coughs> council of the city of Brockton act in pursuant to chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws hereby approves a downtown Brockton district improvement financing program a development program pursuant to Chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws, appending the order approved in 2015, establishing the Brockton Downtown District. Refer to finance. Transfer of $455,753.33 from vacant and abandoned building registry account to demolition revolving account. Refer to finance. Transfer of $15,100 from animal control full-time salaries to animal control overtime 10000 Animal Control Department Equipment, $5,100. Refer to finance. Transfer of $10,000 from Treasurer's Purchase of Services, Security Fire Control, $3,000. Treasurer Goods and Supplies, Registry of Deeds, $7,000. The Treasurer's Personnel Services, Overtime. Refer to finance. Order that the pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 60, Section 15B, City Council accepts Mass General Laws, <coughs> Chapter 60, Section 15B, and also that the City Council authorizes the tax title collection revolving fund for fiscal year 2017 to be capped at $100,000, and the balance of each fiscal year to be transferred to the general fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $45,000 from the Stabilization Fund to Information Technology Department capital to provide funding for expanded services to City Hall phone system. The cost of this upgrade would include a customer service audio recording system, labor and miscellaneous wiring. Refer nope. to finance. Appropriation of $425,000, 600, strike that. Appropriation of $425,692 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, fiscal 16 Childs, Senator the Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant to Brockton Police Department Fiscal 60, Senator the Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $118,246 from the U.S. Department of Justice Fiscal 15 Justice Assistance Grant to Brockton Police Department, U.S. Department of Justice Fiscal 15 Justice Assistant Grant Fund. Refer to finance. 
appropriation of $142,947 from the Executive Office of Adela, Elder Affairs Grant, $142,947 to Brockton Council and Asian Executive Office of Elder Affairs Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $45,000 from fiscal 2016 Mass Department of Public Health and Election Grant <clears throat> to Brockton Police Department 2016 Mass Department of Public Health Grant Fund. <clears throat> Refer to finance. Appropriation of $2,200 from Commonwealth of Mass Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 15-16 HMEP Grant to FEMA HMEP Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Resolved to have members of the One Smile Brockton Coalition come before a committee of the Brockton City Council to discuss the efforts and accomplishments of the coalition with regards to the introduction of a water foundation program in the City of Brockton. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Mass Community College President Charlie Wall be invited to come before the Finance Committee to discuss options to bring the Mass Assorted Allied Health and Science Building back to its original proposed location in downtown Bronx. Referred to Finance. Resolved that the Mayor or his designate, the Treas Collector Treasurer and the City Solicitor or his designate be invited to appear before a Committee of the City Council to update Council members on the status of the Whitman dispute and efforts to obtain payment. Referred to finance. Uh, with the Commissioner of the City Department of Public Works and Executive Director of the Old Colony Planning Council, by his designate, be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council to discuss options and recommendations to be forwarded and a report to the Mass Department of Transportation for improvements designed to enhance the safety of the public and the orderly flow of vehicles in this area of the city. Referred to finance. Resolved that the <clears throat> record owner of 121 Main Street, the Mayor, Superintendent of Buildings, City Solicitor, a representative of the 21st Century Corps, and Gary Leonard be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the demolition of the building, the cost to the city, recouping the cost, and plans for the redevelopment of the property. Re Councilor Barnes. Uh, well, not this that, one. Oh, okay. That'll, that's referred to finance. Right. Uh, actually, before you... Uh, I know, well, actually, make your motion, please. Okay. Um, if my colleagues would indulge me, I have a late file. Um, I'm asking for a second to accept it. Second. Thank you. Motion made and seconded for a late file in the hands of the clerk. Would the clerk please read the late file? Resolved that Abel Silvera of his designee be invited to appear before a committee of the city council to update council members on the Code Connect program, whose mission is to expose and teach kids age 8 to 13 years old computer programming, or coding for short, in the community. <clears throat> Refer to finance. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, continue the hearing on uh, the solicit and canvas license. Is Mr. Mc Pierre McClen out here? Uh, Mr. President, I move for a continuance of this item to the next meeting. Second. Actually, I believe we'll just keep the hearing open to, until the next, uh, is that uh, postpone the hearing to the next regularly scheduled city council meeting. Second on that? Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to postpone the hearing. All those in favor? Opposed? Uh, that will be postponed until the next regularly scheduled co city council meeting. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege, if I may. You may. Um, as chairman of the Public Safety Committee, any of my colleagues that serve on that committee, please be aware that we will be calling a Public Safety Committee uh, meeting. It will be next Monday, April 4th. It's going to be 6.30 p.m. Uh, and again, we have FENCOM at 7 o'clock. So 6.30, anybody that sits on public safety, please be here. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Mr. President, a moment of personal Councilor privilege. Councillor Azak. Thank you. I'd like to remind everybody that we have uh, Keep Brockton Beautiful Day coming up. This year it's on April 16th, Saturday, April 16th. It starts at 9 a.m. and it goes on till noon. We meet up at Heights Crossing, which is 27 Christie's Place. For more information, you, anybody can call the Recycling Depot at 508-580-7827 or go on to the city's website. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you. Councilor Beauregard. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may. Well, I'm very excited that it's International Women's Month. We're doing the wine down here, but I'm excited that we're looking at an ordinance to recreate the Women's Commission. And I'd like to take a moment to point out that um, a woman that's done a great deal for this community and was recently recognized at the Winter's End Ball, Lynn Smith, and she had another success this weekend with another Easter egg hunt. And that's just a demonstration of the remarkable women we have in this community. So very 
very excited that uh, we can end on a note like this. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Anybody else? Councillor Ranieri. Thank you, Mr. President. If I might, just a moment of personal privilege. I just want to remind those members that sit on the Accounts Committee that the meeting we had scheduled for next Monday <coughs> has been changed until uh, Tuesday, April the 19th, which should be a finance meeting because that Monday should be the holiday Patriots Day. So uh, Accounts Committee is going to meet on the 19th at 6.15 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Studensky. A moment of personal privilege. You may. I'd like to announce the 50th anniversary of Vietnam War. Yeah. Uh, will be uh, denoted tomorrow at the City Hall Amphitheater, Tuesday, March 29th, tomorrow at 2 p.m. And just for the people at home and the people here to know, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs has joined with the Department of Defense in a, as a commemorative partner to honor our nation's Vietnam veterans by designating that day to express their gratitude and support to this generation of Americans through ceremonies across the nation. Uh, it's open invitation. Happens right over front here. Uh, there'll be some uh, gold star mothers there. For anybody who doesn't know it, a gold star mother is somebody who's lost, mm -hmm. has lost a son or a daughter in, in a war. And uh, to be a, at least one I'm positive, I uh, will be here tomorrow. And uh, if you have time, please stop by. The uh, Vietnam veterans would appreciate waving <laughs> you and saying hi. Thank, Thank you, you, President. And on behalf of the council, I appreciate your service in that conflict. Thank you very much, Council. Thank you, Mr. President. Anybody else? <laughs> Uh, Mr. President, Councilor Rodriguez, uh, as the chair of the um, Real Estate Committee, I'd like to announce that we will hold the uh, Real Estate Committee meeting on Monday, prior to our FinCom meeting as well, uh, here in the uh, in the members' chamber. What time? Uh, do you know what time? Six thirty. Uh, Six thirty. Six thirty. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? Thank you. We're adjourned.